Hello everybody, it's Beardboy OG here, and today we'll be playing the Better Minecraft Mod Pack. There's over 200 plus mods in this mod pack, and there's two separate versions. There's Forge and Fabric. We, we are on Fabric because I get better FPS. Now it's time to start this Let's Play in a very familiar way, if you know what I mean. Now with these, we're gonna craft ourselves our first crafting table. And look at that. Oh, that looks pretty. And with that, we're gonna craft our beginning pickaxe. Ooh, I'm gonna need these guys. Goodbye. Sorry. I do not want to be awake during the first night. Now that we've found some stone a, a little bit in the open here, we are gonna get the necessary stone ready for some starter tools. And with that, we can go and upgrade quickly to the Stone Age. Can't have a good let's play without an axe. Can't have a great let's play without a sword. Now it's time to go look for a cave so we can find ourselves some basic armor. Because I really do not want to be out in the open, especially when it starts getting dark. And there is a lot to explore already. Look, we got some cows here. We had that massive flower field that I am like really considering to be the home base and there's a lot of really really pretty wood here oh this is gonna be such a great location well this cave looks adequate I will take this coal gladly also I see that creepy boy over there um I don't like creepy boys so hopefully he stays away sorry cows I'm starting to die so I'm gonna have to steal your meat Okay, now that we got some food and we're all, it's time to go down here and finally mine up some of these ores. Hey, look at that. We got the first iron of the Let's Play. Ooh, and there's multiple. There we go. We got five raw iron. That is not the full goal, though. If I can get a full set of iron armor and tools by the end of the today's episode i will be extremely happy and it's not going to be in this cave sadly exactly the spot where i was talking about earlier where i want to set my base i think it's going to be somewhere around here because this looks beautiful with these red trees well i think this one will work okay i've scattered out this little safe area made sure we had it good enough so we can go and mine but oh my those are so pretty we might have to build with those in the future to add to the goal now we're at 12 Raw iron, we need like 36, so. Oh, there's another one, they'll add to the 36, but we still need more. Oh yay, more iron. Okay, we have enough for a full set of armor. Now it's time to get that remaining amount for the tools, which if I'm correct, that's three, six, eight, nine to 10 more, so this, this shouldn't take too long. Well, with this vein over here, I think we've easily accomplished that goal, which we should be even able to make a shield. And we have so much more as well, so I'm gonna get as much of this as I can, and then I'll meet you guys over where we're gonna start the starter base. Now that we're out of that cave, we can start smelting some of this up. I don't think we need a, that much coal. That should work. And while that's going on, it is time to get some wood because I want to get the starter base done. And it's going to be somewhere in this region. I think this is the perfect spot because I'm already thinking of things we can do. Like back here, I can turn this into like a fish pond. And over here, we have a little area where we can have like a little dock section, even on this. So that would be cool. And oh, whoa, <laughs> I think I'm in love with this wood right here, especially with how that wood looked when it's... Oh, that's in here. Oh, that's so convenient. Oh, I love Instamine. It does almost kill your pecax. But what I was saying, if you just get like a couple there, for examples of these planks, look at how nice that looks. I want that to be the floor so bad. Uh, but I also want these. This looks a bit better. Oh, oh holy Lord. Oh. That is so convenient. I wish I had that in my hardcore series. And how much did that... That was over a stack. I'm just... I'm gonna have to go craft another pickaxe. Or axe. That, um, that was a little anticlimactic. I completely forgot that was in here. Oh my. Like, two more trees. This would usually take in regular Minecraft about 
10, 20 minutes. And here in modded, it just takes about a minute. If you guys are enjoying today's episode so far, consider slapping that subscribe button. It do wonders. It is absolutely absurd how much we can get from this. These trees, they're, they're a bit bigger than the normal Minecraft trees. Like, a bit bigger. I think the only thing that can compare is maybe the mangrove from vanilla Minecraft. But these trees can be so overpowered in how much it gives you. Like, look at that. You do have to be careful with this, though, too, because sometimes it is so out overpowered, it can take your entire house down. But I think we should figure out how we're going to build this house really quick. Okay, I've been looking at a gradient type, and I'm thinking I'm liking this one just a bit more. This is kind of making it look like it's a little bit burnt right next to the spruce. While the maple right next to the spruce logs looks so much better. So I think we're going to do this version of doing it. So I need to start getting the basic structure like plans sorted out here. Okay, I got a little area marked out here. I think having the entrance come from this direction or this direction would be the best. I think this for the front door would be better because it can connect to future builds here in the future. This more works for like a back way. Then this is more of like a coastline view. So I think this is the view we want to start with in terms of building. And I do want to have an upstairs and make this extremely grand. So Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Right before the replay mod, we have all of the iron together. So let's go and craft all of our gear first. Helmet, chest piece. Pants, shoes, pickaxe, axe, sword, and shovel. There we go. We have ourselves a fully ironed up cool set. Now it is time to complete said house. Now replay mod. So I've been working on the inside. We're gonna have an upstairs level and a downstairs. And I think here I'm going to have a staircase going up and I kind of have some basic ideas. It's not going to look like this at the end, I swear. I want to have some more stuff. So like a window up here, maybe it's not going to stay like that. I'm just trying to figure out some basic ideas here. Okay, now I finally got the shape of the roof that I want. Because I wanted this to be like a window area in a way. And I'm liking this so much better. So this isn't going to be... This is just temporary. Besides for the inside. The inside's going to be like this. We're going to have stone brick going down all of these. And I think it's going to look really good once it's done. So either we're going to have to go in... Like, I want to extend it all the way over here. So I think I'm going to have to get rid of this and then rethink it. the roof here I'm doing a little bit of a trim on the outside of the roof mainly trying to get this to get once one outlined because I do think this can look really well in this use case plus it gives us some blocks back that we kind of need to build also it is nighttime okay I might be doing something a little bit crazy but I'm actually gonna sink us in on the inside a little bit so we have just a bit more room. After doing some interior decorating, which we have our chest room in here and everything is working perfectly fine. We also have an upstairs where we're gonna be putting our bed. And then also the sunken in part. But I also want to experiment with these. Look at this. So is there a way to... Okay, that's convenient. Okay, so let's do this and then... Oh, I love that. I really love that. Yes, 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 yes. 
So with some spruce trapdoors, that's not where I wanted them. There we go, right there. And then for these spots, we'll just do this. Oh, I think I really like that. Okay, now that the inside's mostly done, I have a couple more ideas here that we can do. Going this way, we'll have a couple of tables pointing right there. We do not need you here, I'm gonna be honest. Have a table there and some chairs. There we go, so we have a little ch uh, table area where we can sit down. A little place where our food can get prepped. Add another table right there just in case. We also have accesses to shelves here, wherever... Oop, I used the shelves at the wrong spot. Oops. <laughs> I was gonna do supports here. Then along the top here, we'll do shelves that we can mess with here in the future. I'm gonna bring actually one more down. Oop. Yeah, until we get this fixed, we'll just be floating bed boy. But I am very proud of how this turned out for episode one, fully ironed up and a really beautiful house that utilizes some of the modded features. I am very happy with this build and I hope you guys were happy with it too. If you were, consider subscribing because it helps the channel out a lot. Consider liking the video because liking always helps. And comment down below. And comment down below. Let me know what you think. I've been Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you guys in episode two.